For all things Pelicans, you're now tuned into the Pelican Post Game Report. Much love to the flock. Appreciate you guys for tuning in for this episode of PPR Weekly. We are in this thing. Shout out to the fam. I'm Big Q. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and share button, man, in the Pell Nation as the Pelicans make a move from a coaching perspective as the team has added James Borrego as an assistant coach. Let's get into it, man, as this came by way of Adrian Wojnarowski saying that uh, Borrego has agreed to become the New Orleans Pelicans associate head coach. Spent four seasons with Charlotte, including back-to-back playing birds. Pelicans are eager to in- incorporate his offensive philosophy into the team. Let's little, <clears throat> get a little backdrop on this thing. Former head coach James Borrego would join the Pelicans as an associate head coach under Willie Green. Borrego and Green have worked together before, notes Adrian Lopez of ESPN via his Twitter. Borrego was an assistant in New Orleans when Green played there 2010-2011, and he served as an assistant in Orlando during Green's final season as an NBA player 2014-2015. The ties that bind. The 45-year-old Borrego was reportedly one of the leading contenders for the Rockets' head coach vacancy and was among the candidates the Bucks considered to replace Mike Budenholzer. He drew a lot of interest as an assistant coach as well with the uh, Houston Rockets, Milwaukee, Brooklyn, Dallas among the teams that reportedly wanted him to join their staff. Now, the Pelicans also, think about this one too, were considering Kevin Ollie as one of the finalists for the Pistons head coach job to come on as a, as a coach too prior to selling on James Borrego. Now, Jaron Collins is another top candidate uh, for Detroit vacancy. will also return to Coach Willie's staff as he's one of the top assistants there. Borrego spent four years as a head coach in Charlotte before being fired in 2022. He compiled a record of 138 to 163 record with the Hornets and took them to two playing appearances. He also went 10 and 20 as an interim coach with the Magic back in 2015. So the, the staff gets a little stronger we talked about Coach Willie needing to get some more assistant, uh, some more veteran coaches help in this thing. And of course, Monty Williams, <laughs> he ended up taking the Detroit Pistons job. So James Baroga, a Borrego is a guy that Coach Willie Green is familiar with. And he'll join this staff here. As you can see, Willie Green, Jaron Collins returns, Casey Hill, Fred Vincent, Teresa Weatherspoon are there. And this is straight from the website. So anyway, let's listen to some philosophy from James Borrego. Uh, talking about discovering, discussing his philosophy on offense. Here we go. When we're sort of in this sort of flow transition and early offense, I feel like the defense is more on their heels and we have an opportunity to get to the paint. You know, for us, that's the whole key. How do we get to the paint? How do we get downhill? And for us, those first seven, eight seconds allow you to do that probably more than a half court set you know, just in general. So, um, and then we have multiple playmakers that can play in those areas, you know? So um, I didn't want to come down and walk it up every time and call a set. I think we're more effective when that ball's moving side to side and we have multiple guys touching it and, and finding an advantage that can get us to the rim. And from there, it's about spraying and moving the ball and sharing it. All and right, so there he is. How you feel about that, man? Philosophy from James Borrego on helping you know and talking about offense and like they said the report saying that coach Willie looking to incorporate his offense into what the pelicans are doing to kind of make it stronger so you know coach willie's with the defense we have coach borrego who's joining the staff to help out with offense and this should help the pelicans going into the upcoming year now we will return tomorrow <clears throat> with another episode of pelicans post game report weekly or ppr weekly where we'll talk about some more stuff we'll also talk about the new article that came out about the uh, uh, frustration Pelican players had with B.I. Uh, refusing to play through some of his injuries. We'll cover that and talk about other topics as well as this more in depth. But for as far as the PPR Weekly short report, James Borrego has agreed to become associate a head coach with Coach Willie Green's staff. So with that being said, y'all give me your thoughts on this move. Do you think this helps the Pelicans? Does it puts us put us in a position to compete in the playoffs and not so much as the plan. Does it ratchet up our degree of offensive intensity? What do you think? Put it in the comment section below and let me know. So with that being said, I'm going to get out on that. Much love to the fan. Appreciate y'all. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the share button. And I'm going to holler at you on the flip side. Much love and go Pelican.